Hello friends, welcome to the session on communication electronics. In this session, we'll be discussing about frequency spectrum in FM. In this session, we will see what we mean by frequency spectrum in FM. We will draw the diagram for frequency spectrum in FM. We will see how to determine bandwidth in FM. Friends, as you know that you are viewing this session on my YouTube channel, Learn with Prakash Khanai. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos in the subjects of electronics and computer science. Friends, as we know that in case of FM, the modulating signal is an information signal, which is a low frequency signal. The carrier signal is a high frequency signal. And in FM, the frequency of the carrier signal is being changed in accordance with the modulating signal. That is, when the amplitude of modulating signal is high, then the frequency of FM signal is high. If the amplitude of the modulating signal is low, then the frequency of FM signal is also low. We know that the expression for the FM voltage can be written as V is equal to A sine of omega CT plus M suffix F sine of omega M into T. In this expression, we know that A is the amplitude Omega C will represent the carrier signal frequency. Omega M will represent the modulating signal frequency. MF is the modulation index. You will find that this equation is a sine of sine equation. And whenever we want to obtain the solution of this equation, then the solution of this equation can be obtained by using Bessel's function. When I expand this equation, then I can rewrite the whole equation as V is equal to A in the brackets J0 MF sine of omega CT plus J1 MF in the bracket sine of omega C plus omega M into T minus sine of omega C minus omega M into T plus J2 MF in the bracket sine of omega C plus twice omega M into T plus sine of omega C minus twice omega M into T plus J3 MF in the bracket sine of omega c plus thrice omega m into t minus sine of omega c minus thrice omega m into t and you will find that we can write such infinite terms when we expand this solution by using the Bessel's function. So in this uh, equation you can easily observe that we are using the terms j0, j1, j2, j3, j4 like that. So all these are the Bessel's functions. When we say jn then we can say that it is the Bessel function of nth order. You will find that J0 will give the amplitude of the carrier signal. Similarly, you will find that J1 will give the amplitude of the upper and lower sideband or first sideband. J2 will give the amplitude of the second upper sideband and lower sideband. So in general, we can say that Jn will give the amplitude of the nth sideband. So you will find that in this expression, there are infinite number of terms. So these infinite number of terms will indicate us that there are infinite number of sidebands in Fm. And the amplitude of each sideband will depend upon the Bessel function. So from the above expression, we can easily observe that there are infinite number of sidebands in FM. In case of AM, we know that there are only two sidebands, upper sideband and lower sideband. But in case of FM, theoretically, there are infinite number of sidebands. So when we decide to draw the uh, frequency spectrum in FM, then it can be drawn like this. Suppose on the x-axis, I have taken the frequency. On the y-axis, I have taken the amplitude. So at the center, we have a carrier frequency Fc. Then we have a upper sideband Fc plus Fm, Fc plus twice Fm, Fc plus thrice Fm. And in this way, you can have infinite number of upper sidebands. To the other side of uh, carrier frequency, we have lower sidebands Fc minus Fm, Fc minus twice Fm, Fc minus thrice Fm, Fc minus four Fm. And in this way, we can have infinite number of lower sidebands. So ideally, you can say that there are infinite number of sidebands in FM, and therefore 
the range of the frequency is also infinite as far as the theoretical expression for fm is concerned but you will find that the amplitude of each sideband will depend upon the basel function and the modulation index amplitude of the each sideband is determined by using a basel table so whenever we want to determine the amplitude of the each sideband then the amplitude of the each sideband will depend upon the basel function and its amplitude can be determined by using a table and this table is being called as a basel table so this is a basel table and you will find that here we are mentioning the amplitudes of different basel functions such as j0 j1 j2 j3 j4 and these values are written for the different values of modulation index so one can easily observe that the amplitude is sometimes very small and therefore it can be neglected that is even though theoretically there are infinite number of sidebands in fm practically when we need to consider the number of sidebands in fm then it is possible that we need to consider of those amplitude which are sufficiently high otherwise we can neglect the other sidebands in fm because of small amplitudes now we will go for the bandwidth in fm in fm theoretically there are infinite number of sidebands and therefore the bandwidth in fm is also infinite but we know from the basel table that the value of the basel function will go on decreasing and therefore the value of j and mf will become negligible for large value of n and hence it can be neglected fm bandwidth can be determined by using two methods the first one is being called as by using the basel table and another rule is being called as the carson's rule so there are two ways to determine the fm bandwidth the fm bandwidth can be determined either by using the basel table or you can make the use of carson's rule to determine the fm bandwidth if you want to determine the fm bandwidth by using basel table then we write the formula for bandwidth is equal to twice n fm max where n will stand for the number of significant sidebands and fm will stand for the maximum modulating signal frequency so here in this expression of bandwidth n it will stand for the number of significant sidebands so for example if your maximum modulating signal frequency is 2 kilohertz and the number of significant sidebands are 5 then in that case you can easily observe that the bandwidth will be equal to 20 kilohertz because 5 into 2 that will stand for 10 kilohertz into 2 that will stand for 20 kilohertz so in this case it is necessary for you to know how many are the number of significant sidebands and the number of significant sidebands will ultimately depend upon the value of modulation index mf another rule to determine the fm bandwidth is being called as the carson's rule the carson scientist have discovered this rule and therefore this rule is being called as a carson's rule according to the carson's rule the fm bandwidth can be given as bandwidth is equal to twice in the bracket delta f plus fm where you will find that delta f stands for the frequency deviation and fm will stand for the modulating signal frequency so in this formula we need not to use the number of significant sidebands but what we need to know is the frequency deviation for example if the frequency deviation is 5 kilohertz and the modulating signal frequency is 2 kilohertz then we can write the bandwidth 2 multiplied by 5 kilohertz plus 2 kilohertz which is equal to 14 kilohertz in this case you can easily observe that uh, fm bandwidth can be determined by using two different formulas and many times you will find that the uh, bandwidth that is being written by each formula is different from the other value observe that in fm the bandwidth increases with increase in the modulating signal frequency so um, bandwidth de depends upon the modulating signal frequency so if the modulating signal frequency fm is increased 
then the bandwidth is going to be increased. Thank you friends for viewing the session. Hopefully you have understood what we mean by frequency spectrum in FM and how to determine the bandwidth by using either by basal stable or by using the Carson's rule. Thank you for giving. If you have any questions, then you can write it to me or you can ask question in our oral discussion. Thank you all for giving the session.